Welcome to my personal learning environment. I've been practicing network learning in my 7th grade science class. I spent some time at the beginning of the year learning how to find information online and how to pull it all together on a personal page. As you can see, there's lots of stuff here. Some things, like my Facebook account and the blocks across the top, are not for school. I organized all my schoolwork along the bottom row. Every morning, when I come to class, I visit the science agenda to see what we're doing for the day. Sometimes there are videos to watch or other work to do. Other times, I decide what I need to work on next. One day, we played a game called Pocket Tanks, and I used it to learn how to write an official scientific report. That was created on my Google Docs account and published for anyone to see. We have a lot of animals in our science class. I can create a special report to get certified to hold them, but I have to do research first. I find websites and post them to my social bookmarking account. These are some of the sites I found about the leopard gecko. I posted my certification report on my blog. Now I can hold Sarah during class. I also use my blog for reflections about what I did in class for the day. There is so much information on the internet. I use a special note-taking program to help collect information I find on websites. I can clip small bits of text or pictures from different websites and keep them for later. The best part is it keeps track of where I found the information so I can give credit and find what I'm looking for. We recently finished a special project about poisonous and venomous creatures. I made a presentation to help other people tell the difference. After learning about a lot of different poisonous and venomous creatures, I decided to do some research on the box jellyfish because I'd seen shows on Discovery Channel and thought it was interesting. I created a digital poster called a Glogster. It lets me put text, video, audio recordings, and cool graphics all on one page. My teacher says it's important for scientific work to be peer-reviewed, so I emailed a scientist in Australia. I asked her to look at my Glogster and let me know if the information is correct. I haven't heard back from her, so I emailed another scientist in the United States. Some of my classmates have already heard back from their experts. Sometimes we use Skype to video conference and ask the scientist questions. I really like learning this way because we get more freedom. It's not like I can choose not to do something. It's just that I can choose how to do it and when to do it. The fact is we have so much freedom that you feel the responsibility just to know that you could go anywhere on the Internet and look at anything, like Facebook and other social networking sites. It can be distracting, but because there is so much freedom, you have the inclination to be responsible. And, once things finally get done, they look really cool. It's not like book work. With technology, everything looks neat, and since our science class is paperless, you hardly ever need a pencil.